In episode 4 of What If, we see something we haven't seen in the series thus far. The story revolves around Dr. Stephen Strange and his love interest, Dr. Christine Palmer. From the get-go, it's obvious the world is different than the one we know from the MCU, as Stephen is head over heels in love with Christine. In Doctor Strange, it's evident there are feelings between the two, but Stephen's ego and narcissism often prevent their love from blossoming. In Episode 4, the duo appears to have genuine passion between them, which isn't hindered by his cockiness. The episode begins with the duo taking a ride in Stephen's car. After some chit-chat, it looks like they're about to be in a terrible car crash, but Stephen is able to maneuver his sports car so they avoid the accident. Unfortunately, they're hit by another vehicle from behind which sends them spiraling off the road. The accident is reminiscent of Stevens from the character's live-action film. The difference is, this time, he's not alone. Christine dies in the crash, and The Watcher tells us how this universe is different from the one we know. In this universe, Stephen Strange didn't lose his hands, but his heart. Just like in Doctor Strange, Stephen still travels to the Carmitage, where he learns about the mystic arts as he seeks answers to help deal with his grief. He experiments with the Eye of Agamotto, as he learns time travel is possible, but is warned by Wong not to tinker with it. Tinkering with time can weaken the very fabric of the universe. The episode speeds over the death of the Ancient One and Stephen's defeat of Dormammu as he becomes the Sorcerer Supreme. It also leaves out Baron Mordo entirely, a character essential to the plot in the Doctor Strange film. While these events fall in line with the ones we've seen in the MCU, what happens next is a complete left turn from what we know. Stephen is still unable to deal with the loss of Christine two years after her death. He uses the Eye of Agamotto to travel back to the night of their car accident and maneuvers his vehicle differently to avoid the same crash. While he's successful, they're still hit by another car in an entirely different accident and land in the same spot, resulting in Christine's death yet again. Stephen continues to turn back time over and over, drastically changing the events of the evening to prevent tragedy. But no matter what he does, Christine dies every single time. It's here we learn from the Ancient One that Christine's death is an absolute point in time. She explains that without the death of his loved one, he would never have mastered the mystic arts or defeated Dormammu. Suggesting her death is necessary to save the universe, Stephen won't accept this and goes down a dangerous path of attempting to reverse this absolute point in time. He seeks answers at the Lost Library of Cagliostro. Stephen learns at the library that he can obtain the power to reverse an absolute point by gaining the power of other beings through absorption. His dark path takes an even darker turn as he summons mythical beings just so he can absorb their powers. Stephen becomes incredibly strong, even prompting the Watcher to consider intervening. Soon we cut back to an earlier point in the episode just after Doctor Strange defeats Dormammu, the moment just before Steven reverts time. He puts off his time travel and when he goes outside, he sees his reality slowly starting to wither away as buildings and people appear to disintegrate. The Ancient One shows up again and we learn of a new twist. It turns out the Ancient One split reality into two timelines the moment Steven used the Eye of Agamotto to travel back in time using dark magic. This allowed two Stevens to simultaneously exist in one universe, and shortly after learning this, the Doctor Strangers come face to face. One fights for the sake of the universe, and the other fights to save Christine by reversing that absolute point in time. It's a brutal battle between the two, with Dark Steven coming out victorious as he absorbs the power of his counterpart. He is successful in stopping Christine's death that night, but that choice ends up decimating the entire universe. Steven learns too late that reversing Christine's death changes everything, and in this new reality, everything crumbles and he loses his love yet again. Steven talks to the Watcher as the universe disintegrates and admits he's always felt his presence. In a last-ditch effort, he begs him to intervene and to set things right. You! You can stop this! Please, fix this! But the Watcher refuses, saying that interfering with time and events only leads to further destruction. So he watches the world crumble as Steven and Christine perish. As we learned in the three episodes prior, one decision can change absolutely everything. In Episode 4, it's more evident than ever as the Watcher explains that these choices can destroy the entire universe. Clearly, some choices bear more weight than others. Steven's response to losing the use of his hands in Doctor Strange was substantially different from the reaction he had to the death of Christine. Both stories saw him triumph against Dormammu and become the Sorcerer Supreme, but his partner's death was too much for him to bear. 
which led to all-out destruction through his always evident arrogance. While the difference in this story was Christine's death over the destruction of his hands, it was ultimately Steven's decision to reverse that absolute point in time, which ended the universe. We're still left wondering, will the Watcher ever intervene? This is the most we've seen him interact with the story thus far. But if he wouldn't intervene as the universe was being destroyed, what situation might we see that would force him to step in and do something? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.